right, YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Thursday afternoon, evening. Um, I'm, I'm, how do I, I'm self-quarantining and I'm about to go crazy, so I thought I would whip out a video on Warlock tiles. I picked these up, uh, not last weekend, but the weekend, or no, last weekend. I went last weekend to the cities, to the game store, uh, The Source Comics and Games, down in Minneapolis, uh, in Roosevelt. Uh, it's a really cool game store. If you ever find yourself in that area, go check it out. The staff is super helpful, and they have a plethora of uh, cool games and stuff. So I wanted to do a little... I don't want to, it's not an unboxing, there's plenty of videos, but I don't think this stuff is getting the attention it needs. I mean, we've all heard of Dwarven Forge, but it is ungodly expensive, and it's heavy, and it's hard to store, and it's, you, it, it, I mean, it's good stuff, don't get me wrong. I've never owned any Dwarven Forge because I can't afford it. It's that simple. Uh, the stuff is stupid expensive, but, but it looks amazing, and I really do like it. Um, and I've got a chance to play on it once or twice at like conventions and things. So it's it's definitely if you can afford it, go for it, get it. Um, the the other alternative is obviously the paper source where you can make paper mats, dry erase mats, uh, uh, tiles where they're dry wet erase tiles, and you can write on. They're made out of MDF board, um, and those are all fine. Um, but they don't give you that 3D sense. Now, there's paper crafting. Uh, and if you have the time to do paper crafting, then cool on you. I have a toddler at home, and I have a full-time job and, uh, you know, a family and everything. So I don't have that kind of time. Or I shouldn't say don't, because we can always make time to do the things we want to do, but we don't always make time for, to do the things we need to do. And uh, I'm a big proponent of do what you need to do, then do what you want to do. And so I'm a big fan. I've preached that to all my children, uh, and my two oldest kids are living well and, and doing fine by that that analogy. And so <clears throat> I happened to be down in the source last weekend, uh, and I had time to just wander around the store, not pressed for time. Normally I'm pretty, like I have 10 minutes or less to go in there and get what I want to get and get out there, and it's just not enough time because the store is huge. Uh, and so, uh, but last weekend I had plenty of time. My wife and child were, were playing, uh, at a little park, indoor park. So I was able to go spend as much time as I wanted, uh, perusing the store. And I think, to be honest, I was in, in and out of there in like less than 30 minutes. So it's kind of funny how we feel one way we're pressured and one way we're not, but Long story short, I found a couple of different RPG stuff that I was going to pick up, and I thought, wow, this will be cool, and it's interesting, and I, you know, more reviews for the channel and everything, and all that fun stuff. And then I walked by uh, an aisle that had the, uh, the Warlock stuff on it, and I went, ooh, wait a minute now, this could be kind of cool. And so I started looking at it and looking at what you get. And I remember watching a video from the Galloping Goblin, um, another YouTuber, um, and he does a lot of Paizo and D&D &D reviews. And I watched his review of the Warlock tiles. And I thought at the time, oh my God, if I get the money, I'm going to pick some of this stuff up. Because it looks amazing. The problem with it is, is in my mind, it's in for a penny, in for a pound, if, you're, if you understand that expression. Because you can't just buy a little bit. You need to buy enough to do whatever it is you want to do. Um and while the sets, I mean, WizKids, this is manufactured and produced by WizKids, the same guys that make Hero Clicks and Marvel Clicks and, and all that stuff. Um, it, it's amazing. It's really neat. And we're going to, I'm sorry, my nose itches. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of different pieces and stuff and talk about it. But um, it, it literally is in for a penny and for a pound because you have to purchase enough to get you through whatever it is you want to do. And I don't think it's necessarily fair to the players to sit there and say, okay, we're going to take a 30-minute break while I reconfigure this dungeon. You want to have, in my mind, you want to have enough uh, of the, in this case, Warlock tiles to create at least two or three scenes worth of of content for your night's adventuring, you know. And my group uh, plays on Friday nights, <clears throat> and we start at... We start at 7 p.m. and then we play until about midnight, um, usually somewhere around between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. And it just depends on if uh, this old man was able to get a nap in or not. 
uh, dictates on how late we play because I'm the game master. Uh, so I bought, I went and I splurged. I spent $350. And while I am extremely satisfied with my purchase, it's not enough. And that really should tell you the cost. I could easily spend another 350 and probably will in smaller increments. I won't do it all at once, but, uh, I definitely feel that I have need for more of this stuff and it works great. And so we're going to, we're going to go over it. So I got, I, I made four purchases. I bought the, uh, Warlock, Warlock, um, Dungeon Tiles one. And I also bought, uh, uh, Dungeon Tiles two with the easy clips. We're going to come back to the easy clips cause that's very important. Um, and there's quite a bit in both of these sets. The Tiles 2 set uh, has full walls. So they're the full, like, 2-inch tall. Whereas Dungeon Set 1 has, I, I think it's uh, inch walls or inch and a quarter or something like that. They're not the full 2 inches. And th their logic was that so everybody could see in the dungeon while you're sitting around the table. Um, but I guess they got a lot of flack for that. And uh, there was a lot of comments that they would prefer the full walls and so they released dungeon set two this stuff has been out for about a year now um so i wanted to uh part of my analysis paralysis which i have a video on that go check it out um part of my analysis paralysis was there's so many different options for your 3d terrain paper craft you know uh you know home crafting and of course you know dungeon forge dragon uh dragon lock or whatever it's called there, there's tons of stuff out there um Bandui makes uh, MDF terrain that you can use. I mean, there's tons of stuff out there. So my quandary was, um, you know, I wanted to read the reviews and, and talk about it and, and look at stuff, you know, before I made a decision. And so, like I said, I happened to be down in the cities and I had all this other RPG stuff that was going to be basically like cannon fodder for the channel, you know, and stuff like that. And I realized, oh, then I walked by the Warlock stuff. They had a full display and I went, oh. <gasps> I could, instead of spending, you know, X amount of dollars on all these different RPG books that I probably won't get a chance to play, even though I want to, I should probably buy something more utilitarian. So I decided to drop the money on the Warlock tiles. And I'm glad that I did. But I'm also glad, I'm also sad that I didn't buy more. I could have easily spent 500 bucks. Uh, and I think I still wouldn't have enough. But that being said, I got Dungeon Tile uh, 1 and Dungeon Tile 2. I also bought the uh, dungeon dressings. Now, this is just a bunch of terrain for your dungeon. You know, you've got uh, uh, like a throne. You've got some treasure chests. The cool part about the treasure chest is they actually, the lids open and you can take the treasure out. So it's very interactive in that aspect. There's some barrels. Yes, you can put pickles in the barrel, especially if you're a Pathfinder GM. You know what that means. Um so there is a, a bed, there's a rock pile, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. So dungeon, it's exactly what it, the, the label on the box is, is, is exact. It is dungeon dressings. And then uh, I'll hold it up to the camera. You can see what you get on the back, but you can go hit their website and you can see everything uh, there. And this is their 4D, which is a newer line. I think this came out either later last year or early this year, the 4D line. They also make a huge, uh, wizard's tower but it's like 250 bucks and it has cardboard floors and the big the big negative reviews have been that the cardboard's probably gonna you know fall apart from use and everything like that but i'm gonna tell you it is cool but i i personally don't think it's worth 250 dollars. that's just i think it has an msrp of 259.99 so that to me is just overpriced so we got the dungeon uh the, the dungeon dwell, dwell dressings, excuse me. This was forty nine ninety nine. Um, I think one of these was ninety nine uh, for the dungeon tile set two. Yeah, dungeon tile set one was ninety nine, and dungeon tile set two was one set two was one twenty nine. Now I did go on Amazon, you know, feeling a little bit of that buyer's remorse, and I went on Amazon and I did look, and I could have got them for a little bit cheaper. I could have saved probably overall. Uh, I spent 350 bucks at at the source. I probably could have bought it on Amazon for about 330, 3 320. So I could have saved 20 to 30 dollars roughly. So 
and then I would have had to wait for it. So I think as far as the instant gratification, I'm glad I got it. I think future pur purchases, I will go through Amazon now that I know what I want and what I need. The fourth part that I bought, again, was another $50, and it was the uh, summoning circles. And we're going to go over this. Uh, well, we'll go over it right now. You get a bunch of different overlays. And so what you get is you get a bunch of these uh, tiles, right? Uh, and there's nothing special to them. They're just tiles. They have different designs. So there's, I think this is the arcane or the heavenly one. And there's a whole bunch of, but what's interesting is you get a little, uh, 2032, uh, type battery and here. You can see it right there. And of course this is nothing but an overgrown led screen. So when you click it, you can see the lights shine, you know, and what, what makes it amazing is you put this down on your dungeon right so you have it down on your dungeon and then when you click it you can see it now great concept love it the problem is this does not stay on there and it's very slippery you can see i'm sliding it all around i don't know if there's a way maybe i could use a little blue tack or something on it to to keep it in place supposedly they say when you put it in a floor like if you replace the center of your floor also, it glows several different colors, by the way. I think it has red, green, and blue, and white. Um, and each, But you have to go through, and it has three phases. It has a, a dim glow, a pulse, and a uh, steady. There's the red steady. Um, and then there's the pulse. You can see it's getting slightly brighter. And then it kind of dims out. I don't know if the screen is going to do... Very good. And then this is the, it's a slower, like a real low dim pulse. There you go. So if you're playing at night, and then of course the third click turns it off. And then another click, we get white. So super cool. Um, runs off of that little battery, like I said. Um, totally gimmicky. Is it worth $50? Yes, because you get six of these. Um, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. You get five. You get an arcane, druid, demonic, holy, and whirling. Uh, and then you get a four by four light up LED base. So this is the LED base. And then you get you get uh, five of these, right? Five, right? Yeah, five. You get you get five of these little templates to put on top of it. So supposedly when you build this into the floor of your dungeon, it will keep it from moving around, and it's enough of a lip, or it's inset enough that this won't slide around uh it'll sit just slightly lower than your dungeon floor and so it's supposed to stay in place i haven't tested it out yet um as you can see there's no locking mechanism there's no holes in this so you literally set it into the middle of your floor so needless to say that is super cool i, I just wanted to to show that and like i said that's 49.99 so what you get in the box is you get the first box you got these clips um, and there's like a hundred or so in here and they are this uh, like white hard plastic these things are I'm not sure you can hear that but that's me banging it on the table I couldn't use them I couldn't get these in with my bare hands I had to struggle I wind up having to get a pair of pliers and I watched a couple of the different reviews and they all said get the new softer tabs so I went on Amazon uh, while we were still in the hotel and I went and I found them on Amazon. You buy a bag of a, a hundred, or I think it's a hundred in here. Uh, you buy a bag of a hundred for ten bucks, um, and they look like this. And they are—I don't know if you can hear that. It's—it's it's a lot less, and you can bend these easily. You know, you can—you can see I'm bending that with hardly any effort. Whereas with the regular dragon locks, I—I'm bare—I'm squeezing, and I'm not barely moving it so these things are a pain in the ass i would say throw them away keep them if you i'm keeping them just in case i need them you literally have to use a pair of pliers to put these things in um i think once you use them a couple of times they might lighten up a little bit but they are really hard so and fortunately whiz kid listen whiz kids listened to everybody and they came out with the uh easy clips i think is what they call them now uh, and they they work great and um, so you get your this is a standard uh, two by two tile the other difference between uh, dragon uh, dragon dungeon forge dungeon whatever it is I can't even remember dwarven forge uh, and these which are the kind of the two competitors these are double-sided 
I don't I don't believe most of the uh, Dungeon Forge stuff is double sided. So you have three holes, you know, as you can see, going all the way around. And all you do is you put this clip into one of the holes, and it's you're going to hear it kind of it. You kind of put it in sideways, and you kind of heard it click, and then you just push it in, and now it's in, you know. And then you take another piece. So here I have a dungeon door. By the way, the doors actually work. You can open and close the doors. So that is super cool. But then you just you line it up on the piece, kind of put it in an angle, and it just clips in. And there you go. You have your terrain piece. Um, the other neat thing they make is they make these walls. This is the inch high wall. And you can see there's these clips. So you put it, you literally stab it in between and it would, you know, obviously it's not going to work that well with this. If I had two floor pieces, it would work a little bit better, but these are great for making a division, so to speak, for a room or dividing it. And then there's, uh, there's also double doors that do work, like I said. So um, there's also, if you have to use a door where it's facing the outside, they do make a little clip that covers this up. So just, yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it, but it does kind of help with the immersion factor, so to speak. So you're just seeing the stone work going all the way around the doors. But I just, I, it's so gimmicky, but I love the fact that the doors actually work. So no, this stuff is not cheap. Um, and to take it apart is literally super easy, um, as opposed to the, uh, the, the normal clips. The normal clips came in Dungeon Tiles set one. I think every other set, now moving forward we'll use the easy clips but again if you were like me and you bought the set on amazon you 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 can you you've got it you can replace those tiles in your in your dungeon tile one so um and then they do give you if you have dragon lock and all that they give you some generic clips that will work with the other pieces as well so if you have other pieces of, of moldable terrain that you use that use those those interlocks, you can use those. So I don't have a use for them, but I'm not going to throw them away because you never know. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm running a Pathfinder game. We're going back to our home campaign uh, next Friday. This Friday was supposed to be Delta Green. My buddy Darren was going to run it for us, but unfortunately I'm self-quarantining, uh, trying to fight off the COVIDs or of just a really nasty sinus infection or allergies i'm not quite sure uh but uh i have to self-quarantine for a couple of days until i get the clear bill of health so it'll probably be a couple more videos coming from me in the next two weeks or next week um until i get a clean clean bill of health um please wear your mask maintain that six feet of distance if you have to interact with people wear gloves wear a mask um be safe guys i mean i feel like crap I am so achy. It's not even, I feel like somebody, I just went 10 rounds with Mike Tyson and we all know I wouldn't even make it the first minute with Mike Tyson. So that's how bad I, I feel like, I feel like I've been beaten to death. Uh, I, I hurt everywhere. My eyebrows hurt. Uh, and it is so weird because I hardly ever get sick. I mean, I get colds and stuff like everybody else, but I don't get super sick a lot. I'm a pretty healthy guy. So, um, and I'm just, I don't know if this is COVID. I've heard people have had it way worse. So I'm not complaining in that aspect, but I, I feel like pounded dog meat right now. So <clears throat> anyway, enough of me uh, bemoaning my my, uh, my my situation here. I'm happy to be able to make videos for you guys. And uh, hopefully this uh, Warlock is a little informative. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, I don't have any... Oh! Well, I don't have any regular... Oh, I do have... I, I have an Infinity miniature. I'll take it off the... I got it on some putty. But, uh... There's, there's a tile, and there's the miniature on the tile. So, that's a 28mm Infinity miniature, but you can see, fits pretty nicely on the tile. Um, I should have... If I'd have thought this a little bit better, I would have made a little mini diorama but unfortunately i used most of my dungeon tiles or warlock uh tiles for my uh next game of pathfinder and so again that's where i found out man i need more because i only was able to make one certain area of the of the dungeon and i do have some tiles left over and stuff but i don't think it's enough to actually make anything extra um that i i would need so we're pretty much limited to either breaking out a dry erase mat and me hand scribbling all my my stuff on the mat 
or we're going to have to take a break while I reconfigure everything. And I don't have um, a convenient place to do that because my gaming table is right out there and my office is right here. So, I mean, I could close the curtain, but that's kind of, I don't know, I consider that kind of rude. But anyway, we'll see. We'll play it by ear and we'll see how it goes. But this is the Warlock uh, Dungeon Tiles by WizKids. I think it's pretty cool, guys. I, I got to say I'm happy with my purchase. I am extremely satisfied with these uh, easy clips. Uh, they're blue. You'll know uh, the other clips look like kind of like a faded plastic. Um, and they're just hard as hell to use. You got to re really use pliers. Your fingers will kill you. After you're done. And I got big meat paw sausage fingers. I mean, I, I have pretty good hand strength. Um, and it, it was it was a pain in the ass. Um, I mean, I could get them in there, but uh, and then pulling them apart was just as hard because they don't flex. Um, these flex. Uh, the difference between the two, though, is these are a little, they're obviously a lot more flexible. So what's going to happen is uh, any terrain pieces you build, you're going to be able to move them, but these are going to be more flexible. So there may be a chance... If it's too big of a piece, they may, you know, sag off and possibly fall off. But I lifted my big dungeon piece up and nothing fell off or anything like that. So I'm going to be able to transfer it to the gaming table uh, when we're ready to play with no problems. And then what I'm going to do is for Fog of War, I'm just going to put some black uh, cardboard over the pieces that they haven't explored yet. Um, I'll cut some black cardboard out to, to measure the sizes um, or just heavy paper i have some regular heavy paper that uh for my printer so i'll just cut some of that out and uh place it you know on there so that it kind of a fog of war and they can only see the room they go in uh so pretty excited about it um i think it's it's pretty decent value uh bang for the buck um obviously we always like things to be cheaper uh, it is, like I said, on the expensive side. These four boxes cost me, after tax, $359 and some change. So, yeah, it's, but, you know, if you're running a lot of fantasy games and you use th miniatures and stuff, then it's probably worth it for you. Uh, if you're not invested in, like, Dwarven Forge, but there are a number of videos out there that compare the two side by side, and they, it, they apparently they work really well side by side. So uh, from the videos I've seen, the people have very uh, complimentary remarks about how well they work together. So uh, you can't obviously interlock them or anything like that because they're just they're they're separate devices. You know, one's hard, uh, some sort of porcelain or dental plus it's their own blend of plaster that they use uh that they've copyrighted and trademarked but uh yeah and and these are these are hard plastic i you, like i said i was wrenching on this with a pair of pliers with those uh the white clips and i i, th I heard something crack and i thought oh my god i broke it i was gonna be so mad um but it wasn't it was just the plastic making some noise nothing broke uh, and I was able to use, and like I said, I switched to the easy clips and then it was, I mean, I, I whipped that dungeon together in 10 minutes is, uh, after I got the initial design, uh, they do make other pieces like curves and like rounded walls, which that's probably what I'll pick up next. Cause no dungeon is, you know, symmetrical in all its aspects. They're rounded and stuff like that. Caverns of course are not going to be you know, have right angles in them because right angles don't exist in nature, I believe. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think they do make a cavern set. I'm going to try to pick that up maybe next month. Um, but guys, I, I think, I think bang for the buck, it's pretty solid. And the fact that the tiles are dual natured, so you can do a tavern or you could do a room, you know, and then you got your dungeon floor. They make a tavern set, which is the outside of it looks like white, you know, medieval walls, uh, Danish huts or something like that. So super cool stuff. Totally worth it. Um, and that's uh, that's what I think of uh, Warlock uh, tiles. I think they're awesome. And if uh, you have any experience with them, you know, put notes down in the bottom and let me know. But that's kind of it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please be safe. Wear your mask. Uh, practice social distancing. We are not out of this yet. Uh, lots of people here in the States are being vaccinated, uh, but other countries are having a hard time getting it. So, you know, just be safe, uh, protect yourself, protect your loved ones. You're not only, you know, a lot of people say, I'm not going to wear a mask, you know, but you're also affecting the people around you, you know, so just keep that in mind. And, uh, I, w I want you to come back and watch all my videos. So, uh, stay safe guys. Uh, peace, love and hair grease, as I say. And as always, um, 
be nice.